My name is Michelle Marbra, and I am a professional learning specialist with Khan Academy. I am super excited to have you all with us today as we share all of the cool new resources that are coming your way. So thank you all so much for joining us today. And I will, oh, and I live in Florida. I'll pass it to Stacy. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Stacy Johnson. I lead professional learning for Khan Academy. I am a veteran California teacher taught in the Central Valley of California for over 10 years, I have been very involved with math and science frameworks in the state of California, and really excited to be here today to talk about the state of tutoring in California and how we can just continue to do better and evolve in what we're doing to better support our California students. So with that, we're going to go ahead and jump in. There's our fabulous pictures on the screen, but you can already see us here. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started talking about the current state of tutoring in California. And there's some great things that are already going on. So the first is if you have not heard of the California State Library Program Help Now, it is a great program run by the state of California's library system. It includes live tutors that are available on the screen. It has a skill surfer lab where students can select the different skills that they need to work on and lots of great resources, even including a language lab for our multilingual learners that need support. So it is a great program, spans the state of California. We also have a couple of great grant programs in the state of California. So there is a grant funded after school education program. And this takes a lot of different looks for a lot of schools or districts. This might be an after school program on the school campus where there's caring adults that are there to extend the school day to help students with homework and all of the things that they may need support with. And then there's the ELOP program. We've probably all heard of ELAB, but ELOP, it's been around for just a few years and really is focused on extending learning programs. So again, it takes a lot of different looks. This might be a summer program. It might be a Saturday school program, but really, again, the focus of these grant programs is how do we make the value of the school day last a little bit longer, reach more kids across a greater amount of time. But with all of these programs, there are challenges and disconnects between the great work that's happening in our California classrooms and tutoring. So the first of those disconnects is curriculum alignment. We know that tutoring is the most powerful when students can connect what they're doing in the classroom to what they're learning with their tutor. When they're able to make that connection and see that, learning is going to be triggered for them and they see how everything fits together and it's a really powerful package. Often when tutors are coming from outside of the school program, they may not know what's happening in the classroom. They're not able to establish that connection and really draw those lines for kids. The next challenge that we have, and we're all familiar with this, is staffing and resourcing. It's one thing to find the resources to put in a, a program like, you know, what curriculum are we using? What tools? What are the great engaging activities we're going to do? That, that's one challenge. But finding the qualified staff to work these live programs can be particularly challenging. We're, we're struggling to staff our daily classrooms, let alone supplemental instructional programs. And then the last disconnect that we really have is really leveraging the teacher. The teacher is the most powerful person in the school system for a learner. They are the ones that build the connection that really foster the excitement for learning, the passion for learning in our students. So when tutoring is happening apart from that teacher, when the teacher doesn't really know what's happening in tutoring, they're not able to leverage that. Again, we, we just have this, this chasm or this disconnect. So we're not really maximizing learning and efficiency for students. Next thing that can happen is, you know, we've been teachers in California. There are some big class sizes out there. Maybe you're a self-contained classroom with 30 to 40 students, or maybe you have five, six, seven, eight classes with 30 or more students. Regardless of how many students you have in front of you, we are very excited to introduce you today to ConMigo. That is our Con Academy AI chatbot. You see its little picture here on the screen. Conmigo can help with that. Whether you have 35 students or over 100 on your roster, Conmigo's got some tools. And in just a second, we're going to jump in and show you those live in action so you can see exactly how Conmigo can help. Before we do that, just a few things we want to point out that you should be watching for as you watch Michelle walk you through the great things that are going to happen on the screen. The first is that 
Khan Academy and Khan Migo are all about personalized learning. None of us learn at the same speed, at the same pace. We don't have the same needs as far as tutoring. So the teacher has the power and the ability to determine what it is students need to work on and then to put students on a path where they can grow and progress at their own pace, at their own rate. The next is trusted content. We've, we've all heard of Khan Academy. This is a vetted, trusted platform. This content is solid. So you know that what students are working on is standards aligned, common core standards aligned in mathematics, in GSS aligned in science. So you know that this is a quality resource to pull from. And the last is that there's gonna be a full set of tools that Michelle is gonna show you to empower teachers. Again, the most important thing we can do is get teachers more time with kids. And so when we can free up some of those clerical tasks, some of those administrative tasks that we have to do that keep us on at school until five or starting at 5 a.m. if you're an early bird like me, um, that's going to just free you up to spend more time with the kids. And that's really what our focus is today. So with that, that's enough talking. Let's let's see it in action, Michelle. All right. Thank you so much, Stacey. This is absolutely one of my favorite things to do, giving teachers back more time. So I am just, I'm honored to be here with you all today. So we're going to start with the Conmigo's brand new dashboard. And let me make it a little bit smaller so you can see everything at one time. All right. So this is Conmigo's brand new dashboard. You're able to view all of the different tools that Conmigo has available. And we're going to go, we won't be able to hit all of them, but we are going to like look at, at a, many of them. You also can separate it by planning. You can separate it by creating, differentiating, supporting your students. So many different features. And again, we're going to dig into all of them. One of the first things, though, I want to show you just to talk a little bit about what Stacy said, just piggy, piggybacking off of that, is all of our courses. To um, In order to access all of our courses, you can view them anytime in the upper left-hand corner of the Khan Academy screen. You just select courses and you're able to view all of the courses that we have, including the integrated math courses that we offer, as well as our science courses. And again, all of those are NGSS aligned. So we have courses for anyone and everything, even adults courses are available. Financial literacy, I think that's a great one and I want my husband to take it personally, but so many different classes. All right, so I wanna jump into, let me just, how about integrated math? We'll jump into that course. When I select the course, it shows us all of the different units that are available for the course and our units are broken down into lessons. So I'm just gonna jump into, how about, how about Linear equations, that's always a fun one. And when I open that, you're able to see all of the content that the courses offer. Notice the little icons right here. It lets you know if it's a video or if it's an article or if it's a quiz or if it's an exercise that we want our students to complete. So let's say I'm um, a math teacher and I want to assign this video for my students to watch. When I click on it, I'm able to view the video. I'm able to see the transcript of the video, but I want to create a lesson around this entire video. How do I do that? Conmigo. All I have to do, Conmigo lives right here. And I like to, we're in the course now and Conmigo lives in the course. I just select Conmigo and several prompts pop up. It'll ask me, do I want help writing a lesson plan? Do I want help explaining the video to my students? Do I want to help making some warm up activities? Conmigo will do all of that for me. Or I can ask Conmigo something different. I can ask Conmigo, can you help me create exit ticket questions for this? I would like five multiple choice questions. And then I give Conmigo a second. And Conmigo will be thrilled to help me write um, write that little quiz for me. And it will create that quiz immediately for you. And remember, Conmigo is not like a Google search engine or anything. If Conmigo doesn't give you what you want, you want to push it to make sure it does. You know what? Can you make the answer choices A, B, C, D? And 
just a matter of seconds? Of course. And Conmigo changes it into a quiz that I can give my students anytime. Now, if I want to go back to the other prompts that were offered, I can ask Conmigo to help me write a lesson plan with this. And notice it's saying it's going to help me write a lesson plan. It's not going to do the entire thing for me because we're co-creating it together. It's helping me because I have the, the ability and the control to change whatever Conmigo creates. So yes, please. I would love to create a lesson plan for this. So I'm going to click on it. And it takes a couple of seconds to create it because it includes so many important features that we need. For example, the learning objective. It includes activities. It differentiates for me. It's going to give me direct instruction for my students. It's going to give me independent practice activities for my students, warm-up activities for my students. It's just filled with so many great pieces that I need in my, in my lesson plan. So I'm just going to give it a second to create it. Also notice this is independent practice that I'm assigning my, that it's suggesting that I assign my students and it's highlighted in blue. Anytime you see something blue, it's a clue to something else. So whenever you're in Khan Academy and you see something blue, click on it and it's gonna take you to something else to investigate. All right, so here is my lesson. Fantastic, fantastic. Here are the materials that it's including, and then a lesson summary at the very bottom, letting me know how long each activity is going to take. Let's say I there's something that I don't really like. I'm not a fan of this exit ticket. I I'd rather use the quiz that I made, or I want Conmigo to come up with something different. No worries. Again, I'm in control. All I have to do is click on it. Conmigo will pop up and ask me a couple of questions. Do I wanna make changes to it? And if so, I can just tell Conmigo what those changes are. I can have a discussion with Conmigo about it or why did you select this? I can have talk to him about it. Or I can just ask Conmigo to try something different. I don't know what I want. I just know I don't like that and I want something different. I hit that button and it changes it for me. So again, I'm in control and we're going together, we're gonna to co-create a lesson plan that I can use with my students. Now, once I'm happy with my lesson plan, it's exactly the way I want it. Thank you so much, Conmigo. I have the ability to print the lesson plan or, oops, sorry, I closed it, but you're able to print the lesson plan or you can download it into a PDF file or, a, um, or you can download it into a Google Classroom or Microsoft Word. So there are a few things that you can do with it after that. All right, I'm going to go back to my super cool Conmigo tools. Another great feature that I love, and I feel like I need to do this, I would do this at the beginning of every one of my lessons, it's the lesson hook feature. How do we get students excited about the content that we're doing? If I'm about to teach a lesson on linear equations, there's nothing really exciting about that But to, to, to my students. To me, I'm all about linear equations. But... Conmigo will help me create fun and exciting lesson hooks. All I have to do is click on it, let Conmigo know the grade level. This is for my ninth grade algebra one class or, or my ninth grade integrated um, math class. And we're working on linear equations. And I just asked Conmigo to create it for me. And then again, in a matter of seconds, Conmigo creates three fantastic lesson hooks that I can use with my students that I probably would not have thought of on my own. I really like this one. For a hands-on activity, students can use a graphing calculator or an online graphing tool to plot a linear equation. Again, though, notice the purple bar. If there's something that I don't like, all I have to do is click on it and I can ask Conmigo to change it. Michelle, you know what I think is great about this is that like, you know, being a teacher in the state of California, we we have state adopted curriculum and this really is a nice compliment to be able to pull things out and to say, you know what, my, my lesson for today is great, but I just need a hook. I need just one part. So I love that I can find parts of this that would complement what I'm already doing in the classroom. I'm wondering... We, we got a lot of questions about what this looks like from a student's perspective. I'm wondering if we could go in and take a look at how Conmigo serves as a tutor in like maybe that integrated math one class. 
Absolutely. So I'm going to go back to that integrated math class and I'll go back to that exact same unit, linear, linear graphs. And I'm going to go to the video. Just pick a video. And when I select Conmigo, just like a teacher would, up here at the very top of the screen, this lets me change it from teacher mode to student mode. So now student mode is on. Notice it gives me different prompts right here. It's going to ask me, do I want a summary of the video? Do I want it to quiz me on the video? Do I wanna write a poem about the video? Or why should I care about learning this video? That's a question that most students have. Why do, should I care about this? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And Conmigo is gonna ask me, well, what do I like? Um, Video, do you like video games? Video game characters move in all sorts of directions and it relates the content back to the student. If the student is on a, is doing an assignment because I may have students who are below grade level, but I still have to give my students on grade level instruction. And if I assign my students on grade level instruction and I'm not around to support them, I don't have to worry because Conmigo's there. So if students are working on an assignment that I've given them, Conmigo pops up and it says, do you, do you need help solving the problem? Do you wanna try similar examples? Or again, why should I care about this? One thing I like wanna point out, I love that Conmigo says, do you wanna try a similar problem? The reason Conmigo says that is because Conmigo will never give your student the answer. Just like a good tutor would never give your student the answer. It's going to help them through the process of understanding and learning the problem. So Conmigo, even if the student says, what's the answer? Conmigo is going to tell me, I'm here to help you learn, not just give you the answer. Let's start with the first point and it will walk the students through the process of understanding the content in here. Any, I was gonna say, show one other thing. If you assign your students, let's say a quiz, if you want your students to complete a quiz on Conmigo, your students will not be able to access the quiz on Conmigo. I because the quiz, I want my student, I want to know the content that my students know. I don't want to know what Conmigo knows or how is Conmigo helping my students. So if my students go in and I assign them a quiz, Conmigo is going to say, I'm sorry, I'm not available on this page. So you know that they're if you're doing a check for mastery with your students, you're able to know that they understand the content. Michelle, I wonder if I could just like try some things with you. I wonder if I could just be your student and try some things in one of the Absolutely. exercises so we could see Conmigo in action. Absolutely. I'd love that. Okay. And we will let's start this. Over. Let's do some math. All right. Let's see here. Where is our friend Conmigo? So we're doing functions, inputs, and outputs. I don't even know how to get started. Can we tell Conmigo we need some help solving this? Absolutely. What's the answer? So imagine we're in a classroom, y'all, and I got 35 kids. Hands are up. As a teacher, we can't get to all of them at, at the same time. Kids are going to be waiting. So while they're waiting for the teacher, we know that's the best the best resource. The teacher should always be the first line of defense. Conmigo can be there to prevent frustration, to prevent kids from getting stuck, or they're at home, right? It's in the moment, instant tutoring. So we've told Conmigo we don't know how to get started. We don't know what to do. I I think what I'm unsure of is what is this F and then parentheses, this F of X, what does that mean? Yes. And notice those, those bubbles. So a lot of times the problem is that kids don't know what to say to Conmigo. They know they're stuck. They know they don't know what to do, but they don't know how to verbalize that. And that's why those bubbles are there. We're not limited to those, right? So, so let's actually try something else. Conmigo's doing a little bit of thinking here, doing some math. We've recently done some, some great work to improve the ability of Conmigo to do math. That's why there's a little bit of a delay there. So here it's telling me what f of x is and do I and asking me what happens if we put negative eight into the box. So I'm just gonna think here. We got negative seven. If x is negative eight, I think that that would be, let's say I make an error and I say that that's negative 56 minus one. Let's, let's say that it's negative 57, Michelle. Let's see what it says with that. Check it. 
I think we just need to type it into that little conmigo box right there. Oops, negative 57. Let's go with anything. Let's see what conmigo does with that. So it's here to offer me some support in the moment. It's going to think about how I've done there. It's doing some math. Let's see how it responds. Oops. Hmm. So it's acknowledging that I made a mistake, but in a, in a really supportive way. And I let's trying to work me through finding that small mistake. So f of x means that if we put x into that negative 7x, and then look at how it breaks that down. So if we put in negative 8, we get negative 7 times negative 8. So we get 56 minus 1. So take a look at how it validated me. And it gave me a small step, but it's not giving me the answer. So you're going to notice a very Socratic approach. Wait, let's try something else, Michelle, that a kid might say. Let's go with the good old IDK. Again, imagine you got kids with their hand up. They're waiting for you, right? What is there to support them? Conmigo is there in the moment, no matter where they are, as long as they have their device they have this tutor on demand. So we're not trying to find people to be in the classroom to support. This is aligned to my instruction that my teacher is giving me in the classroom. So everything is together. It's on point. And my teacher is there with full access to this to know exactly where I've been stuck and how I need support. So for those of you that are in the chat asking, you know, what is that behavior? What does it look like? I hope this has given you just a little bit of a glimpse into how this, how Conmigo will behave and how it can support students in the moment. Absolutely. And also, as I'm communicating with Conmigo, teachers have the ability to see any and everything that your students are talking and chatting with Conmigo about. Or if your students say something inappropriate to Conmigo, Conmigo will actually stop that conversation right there. And the teacher gets an alert, letting, um, letting the teacher know that the student, what the student said. Lots of great things with there. I'm wondering about some NGSS aligned science. Could we jump into one of our science classes and take a look at how Conmigo supports there? Most definitely. How about middle school biology? Sound like My fun? Favorite. My favorite. Yes. All right. Is there a particular unit you would like to look at? Um, definitely. Let's go with ecosystems, biodiversity. Right. Lots of fun there. That's good times. Good times. Would you like to see a video or a um, an article or an exercise? I think I'd like to go to an exercise and I think I want to go into that student mode and, and ask the age old question that my students ask me all the time. Why in the heck I care do I need this. to care about learning this? Can we yeah. see what Comigo says about that? Why should I care about this? What are some things that you care about? I love to dance. Oh, look at that. Maybe pulling in a little bit of relevance, tying it to things that I care about as a learner. Okay. I like it. Oh, so like if a dancer leaves, the group gets smaller. So what an interesting way to tie what the student cares about to the content on the screen. Okay. I, you know what? That doesn't feel like enough though. Can I get another example maybe? Yes. I like that. Can you give me another example? Also, I really like Taylor Swift. Think of Taylor Swift's fan base as an ecosystem. If she stops making music, some fans might leave. This is like changes in an ecosystem causing population to get smaller. Does that make sense? Oops. It does. It absolutely does. So thank you very much, Conmigo. Now I would, oops, let me turn that off. Can you explain more about the e how the ecosystem works? Because now I'm curious, I'm invested. I, I'm a Taylor, I'm a Swifty. And now I know why I need to learn about this. So I'm gonna ask a lot more questions with Conmigo. Now I'm hooked and I wanna find out more. And let's go to a question. Let's go. I'm over here. Also, there are videos um, that are available for students to watch as well. So I can, Ask the question, check it. Oh, I got the question right. Excellent, excellent. All right, here's another one. I wanna try a similar example. Remember, Conmigo will not give us the answer, but I can try a similar problem to help me through that. I don't want Conmigo to give me the answer. I can get a similar one. 
You know what all of this has me thinking, Michelle, is like this, this is engaging. Like if I had had this in the classroom, I wouldn't have had to perform nearly as hard to capture my students' interest and to support them in the moment. But I'm wondering how teachers respond and get data after. Could you walk us through what data teachers are able to get and how Conmigo might be able to help summarize that data and maybe make some recommendations? Absolutely. So if I assign content to my students or if my students are working on their own learning path and completing activities in Khan, in Khan Academy, they're going to get um, work on skills and they're going to get data from that. As a teacher, all I have to do, I can come over here and I can select this class snapshot button and it's going to give me a high level overview. It's going to let me select what class that I want to look at first. I want to look at my this class, the Algebra 1 class. And it's going to give me a high level overview of the progress that my students have made in the course, in my course for the last seven days. It's going to tell me the class average. It lets me know how my students are doing on the assignments that they're completing. Also notice it has these um, light reports in blue, If it, which is a direct link to that actual report. So if I'm looking at the skills that my students are working on, but I want more details, all I have to do is click on it and it takes me to that skills report so I can see exactly what my students are working on. Conmigo also gives me prompt, additional prompts here that I may not have thought of. For example, what student should I celebrate in my class? I love giving class shout outs so I can see what students need those, um, need those rewards or have, who've earned those rewards. What students are struggling? Who needs, who do I need to check on to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing? Another one, this one is my favorite, group my class by their recommendations. That one, huge time saver because again, like Stacy was saying, all of my students are not going to be on the same level and I need to be able to differentiate and give my students what they need. This is my new best friend. It's going to break down what my students need and it tells me what students need what. So I'm able to give them the assignments, but you know what? There's something even better. I'm going to go back to that dashboard and this is my new best friend. This one, I did this, I shared this with a teacher yesterday and she said, the only thing that this is not doing is making me coffee. It is just an absolute game changer. This one is the recommend assignments. This is where Conmigo looks at all of the data on all of the content that your students have been doing and it recommends specific assignments for particular groups because remember, they're not all on in the same place. But this one goes a step further. It will assign them directly for me. So if I want to assign these assignments to that group, all I have to do is select this button. The hardest thing about this that I have to do, the hardest decision that I have to make is, do I want each student to have a different question set or do I want all of my students to have the same question set? And honestly, there's no right or wrong answer. It really depends on what you're using it for. If I'm assigning this to my students as homework, yeah, I want to make sure everybody has different questions. But if I want to my students to work together and collaborate and build that mathematical discourse, I'm going to assign them the same question set and let them work together as I project on the screen. And we can, we can do that together. So that one is a huge time saver. I love that new feature. Another really cool feature that's available is the real world text context generator. This one, huge. Just like um, Conmigo knows that students ask the question, why should I care about this? This makes it real for students. You just let Conmigo know your grade level and what we're about to teach. Stacy, what are we about to teach? Um, systems of equations. That is my favorite thing to teach. Systems of math teaching. Equations. All right. And then again, in a matter of seconds, Conmigo creates three different ideas that I can use with my students. How can they relate? So it's not just, they're not just doing math from my math book. I'm making this real and it's making it more engaging for my students.
And speaking of math books, we have a question in the chat. I want to make sure everybody hears the answer to. Not only is this standards aligned, again, common core state standards in mathematics, in GSS and science, but we do have course options for Eureka Math or Engage New York in third grade, all the way up through Algebra 2 and illustrative mathematics starting with seventh grade through Algebra 1. So in that course menu, Michelle's just going to click right there on See All Math. There's tons of stuff here so we could scroll for about five minutes to see all these different classes. But when we get about halfway down the page, we can actually click in and show you. You can see a quick screen grab here of all the different courses that are available from calculus. And there's our illustrative mathematics classes right there. So if you are using that curriculum for eighth grade, for algebra one, if you're using Eureka Math, those are on there. And again, not only standards aligned, but you do have that curriculum alignment, which are a great, great resource. Would you like me to jump into one of the Eureka Math classes? Let's take a look at illustrative mathematics for eighth grade. All right. Okay. Any particular topic? No, let's just take a look at how the course is aligned. And if you, you know, if you're used to using these curriculums, I know that these are pretty prevalent across the state. Take a look at how this matches the alignment of the textbook. So, you know, what's great about any of the courses doesn't matter whether you're using our traditional eighth grade course or you're using this course, the units can be assigned in any order. So you as the teacher can make those decisions about the order in which students need to receive content. And Conmigo is going to be there no matter what. If I want to start with uh, unit three, for example, I want to start with linear relationships before I do any form of transformation. I can do that. And Conmigo is going to be there the whole way through. So teachers have that autonomy to make those decisions about instructional instructional order and how we're presenting things to kids in a way that's best for their students. Absolutely. All right. Well, with that, we are going to just jump back into a few other things. Keep the questions coming. I'm going to walk you through some of the advantages of the partnership. So if you choose to have your school or have your district pursue a partnership with us, there are several things that come with that as part as a district partner, right? We know that we can go to conacademy.org. We can use the content for free. What if we're a district partner? What's different? So we've already seen that course menu and you may think of Khan Academy, we're gonna go back one slide, so sorry. Um, you may think of Khan Academy as a math program, but what you've already seen today on the screen is that there's so much more there. We have courses across disciplines, not only math and science, but humanities, life skills, computer programming. But the real value of being a district partner expands far past the content and it comes with the support that you receive. Next slide. All right. So on this slide, we we are showing you here that, you know, when it comes to AI, the approach that we take to implementation matters. We have been working on this for over, almost 18 months, two years. We are here to support you with tools, training, data, and experience to guide you the whole way through. So we're not just there at the beginning to get you up and going. We're going to be there to answer questions big and small throughout the duration of the partnership. In addition to that, we also have professional learning for both teachers and administrators, and that is critical to the success of any implementation. But if you're implementing AI, this isn't just a new tool. This isn't any old implementation. This is a shift in pedagogy and how we approach teaching and instruction in our classroom. We believe that teachers deserve comprehensive training on how to get started, how to access data, how to analyze data, and how to really use it to drive instruction. So we're committed to supporting teachers, not just with a one and done PD, not even a two, three done PD, but across the year. And also being able to just be there to answer questions. Sometimes when we're implementing something that is this significant, we just need somebody to talk to, a thought partner to brainstorm. And our professional learning encompasses all of that. So teachers have that wraparound support the entire time. Let's also think about MTSS, this multi-tiered systems of support for students We've already talked about the suite of courses that are available to you, but what we're showing you here on the screen is that if you are using an MTSS model to differentiate and to meet the needs of your students, we have course content to support that. So across these tiers, whether we're using the grade level course for tier one instruction, or we're using a course that's called Get Ready For, where we're building the foundations and getting ready for that grade level instruction, Conmigo and that support that you watched Michelle use is available in all of these. 
So the big point, the big thing with MTSS is we have learners that have been struggling for a while and we want to avoid mounting frustration. We don't want them to be stuck. So Conmigo is available whenever they need it, right there at their fingertips so that they have that support. Absolutely. And one thing I want to just share real quick, Stacey, is on, in Conmigo, from the Conmigo dashboard, if you're trying to, if I'm a eighth grade science teacher, but my student is reading on a sixth grade science level, there's a leveler here where you can input a text and you can change the reading level to it. Because if comprehension is not the main focus and understanding the science content is, I want to make sure that my students are able to do that. And they can absolutely do that with this feature. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's also important to say here, you know, as we're supporting all learners, Khan Academy is um, also available. Conmigo, that chat bot is also fully supported in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. So also meeting those multilingual learners where they're at and ensuring that while a multilingual learner is maybe requiring proficiency or comfort in English, they're not falling behind on their content, right? They're able to access Conmigo in Spanish, in Portuguese, in their home language so that they can continue to stay up to uh, up to par and where they should be on academics. Absolutely. And just to piggyback on that, just like we want our uh, multilingual learners to do that, we want their parents to be involved as well. So if I need Conmigo to create a letter to my one of my students and the spooks, um, the parent speaks is primarily speaks Spanish, Conmigo will translate that letter for me so I can send it to my student, um, the student's parents to keep them involved and in the loop with their student's education. Huge help, huge time saver. So let's think about data. We we took a very brief glimpse at the data that's available to teachers today, but we know that administrators are instructional leaders. And in order to effectively lead instruction as administrators, we need data. So if you're an administrator on this call, I want to make sure that you get one glimpse here at the data that's available from a district or a school administrator level. And you're able to see this data. If you look at the left-hand side on that screenshot Michelle has on the screen, we're able to see data here at a course level, at a school level, all the way down to a very granular student level so that we're able to identify successes, celebrate students as they make those small steps forward, as they gain proficiency and comfort, right? Really just feeling proud of themselves. We want to celebrate that. But we're also able to identify opportunities where maybe we need to put a little bit more resourcing or support the teacher with students that are struggling. So as an administrator, the improvements that have been made to this dashboard to me are game changing because I can see that data wide view, very broad, down to a very narrow view. And it's really empowering to be able to lead and guide instruction from that database perspective. So with all of that great stuff in mind, I want to spend just a second talking about safety because as we bring AI into the classroom, there are a lot of people that are nervous about this and rightly so. This is a new technology. We need to be careful. We need to be thoughtful about how we bring this class, this into our classrooms and in front of our students. So we have been working over the past 18 months with districts across the country and we have learned a lot. This technology is so new and we're all still learning. Nobody is an expert out there, right? This is a new technology. We're all in a place of learning. So there's a lot to figure out and we're looking for partners. We're hoping that you all wanna partner with us to learn and grow in this mission to empower teachers and learners to learn together. There's a lot of great stuff happening right now. You see some snips on the screen of, of like great news stories and great things that are happening. And we're excited to work through this with you, to innovate with you, because there's a lot more to learn as we shape education a little bit differently in this age of AI. And if you follow safety, if you're thinking about student safety, I'm sure you've heard of common sense media ratings. And the, here on the screen, we wanna leave you with this closing thought. As we enter this age where AI is a part of all things in our lives, it seems like, right? It's increasingly prevalent. Safety and privacy are paramount, particularly when it comes to our students. At Khan Academy, our team of veteran educators is committed to ensuring that students are safe and their information is private. So Michelle already talked about with a partnership, teachers and administrators, you can see what students are talking about. You can get a log. There are guardrails there. This is specifically designed for kids in a classroom with safety first in mind. So there are guardrails, 
There's full transparency for teachers to see everything. And that's just part of why this rating is reflected here on the screen. Conmigo is built for kids and it is built for education. So with that, keep the questions coming in the chat. That is what we have to share with you today. If you wanna learn more, our colleague Chelsea is here with us. There's her fabulous picture on the screen. You can email her directly. You can snap that QR code and reach out to Chelsea, but she's eager to talk to you about what all a district partnership entails and how to step into it with us because we're really excited to work with you all next year and continue to reach students in the fabulous state of California. Thank you for watching this video and for being part of our teaching and learning community. To learn more about how Conmigo can support you and your students in the classroom, follow the links on your screen. And to never miss exciting announcements about new free course materials on Khan Academy, be sure to subscribe. Thank you and happy teaching.